we saved a lot of money. At least, that's what we think we did it. All thanks to the Flipkart and Amazon's offer sale. We participated in that offer too. But we also burnt a big hole in our pockets. And that is what brings us here to let you guys know what we had spent on. Before we move into the video, do like, share and subscribe to our channel to watch our latest videos. Suffix T are not something new for us, it's, it has been there for quite a while now. version of the latest OnePlus series, the OnePlus 7T. This makes a perfect balance between the OnePlus 7 and the OnePlus 7 Pro in all the aspects of looking at a phone. Hardware, software, the way it performs and the price point. Yes, we were really amazed with the way how OnePlus has priced this phone which is lesser than the OnePlus 7 Pro. have seen what was in the box and the unboxing let's take a look at the device itself first thing you notice are like the dimensions are almost very similar to its predecessor the 7 pro and also you look at the buttons the way how it's placed and the you know the teardrop and things like that looks really nice it doesn't look dated and it has very minimal Vessels and as you have noticed already, uh, this is the in-display fingerprint sensor. We'll also talk about that. And what is so different? Yes, there's something different in this phone. This is what it is: the triple camera setup. That's what is different. We are also going to be talking a lot about all these uh, camera features and things like that. Here's a rocker for you to uh, get your phone into mute. Or vibration or normal mode. Let's take a look at the display for a second. Just wow! A 6.55 inch display with a 90 hertz refresh rate. The display is definitely smooth and looks very similar to the 7 Pro. It is not just about the numbers. The 90 hertz refresh rate actually plays a vital role, especially when you're gaming or watching a movie. It comes with HDR 10 plus technology. This is the ratio between the darkest black and the brightest white that can that a display panel can produce. And I'm not just saying it, I felt it. I used the phone and that's exactly how it was. And going by the numbers, the display generates about 1000 nits of brightness with a 20 is to 9 aspect ratio which is incredible for a phone and even on a brightest daylight the display does not disappoint here. Starting out with variants, there are two different variants available for the OnePlus 70. And uh, so the first one is 8 GB with 128 GB of storage. And uh, there are two different colors. One is glacier blue and the other one is frosted silver. So this will cost you 37999. And the second variant is the same 8 GB of RAM, but with 256 GB of storage. And that will cost you just 2000 more and it is available with just one color, the frosted silver. What makes this phone a flagship killer? Both the variant sports 
the UFS meaning universal flat storage 3.0 with two-lane data transfer and that allows a mind-blowing data transfer speeds up to 23.2 Gbps. So this is one of the first phone to get Android 10 out of the box. OnePlus has managed to take that OS and put in a lot of tweakings for the OnePlus user to ensure they all get a treat when they get this phone. And it also gets the gesture controls, which is a great addition as well. 7T has a little bump in processor as well when comparing it with 7 and the 7 Pro because they're using 855 from Snapdragon, but the 7T is using again a flagship from Snapdragon, which is 855 plus. Though it may be only marginally better from 855, it gives a greater output when it comes to gaming. All thanks to the smaller number changes to the GPU and the CPU, and due to which it can handle a better virtual reality, augmented reality, and artificial intelligence. There are only a few number of phones that's available in the market that can be a competitor and is still using 855 plus is the Black Shark 2 Pro and the Asus ROG Phone 2. Uh, they both are built with the same 855 plus but OnePlus wins the battle marginally with the triple rear camera which helps you capture the moment into memory and that brings me to review the next big thing on this device which is the camera. In terms of the numbers, the main camera comes with a 48 megapixel with an aperture of f1.6 and they are using Sony IMX586 sensor and they also have an additional telephoto lens which is 12 megapixel with an aperture of 2.2 and that provides you a 2x optical zoom. It also comes with an ultra wide angle of 16 megapixel which offers a great 117 degree of field of view. For an excellent wide angle, it also has f2.2 aperture. All right, so let's talk about the camera and the UI here. Uh, so this is the camera UI that you see. And uh, as soon as you get in there, the first option that you have is the video mode. And the video mode again has three different options because you have three different lenses to capture. You have a normal mode, which is what we are in at the moment. And if I go to the left, you have the wide angle. And this is 2x optical zoom. Uh, so because the background is white you wouldn't be able to see uh, how it really works but I already shot a video where I've tried changing different modes whilst I was taking the video and that video is also going to be played in this so that you can see and feel it yourself and then the next option that you see over here is the resolution changer so there are different options that's available one is the 1080p and it has 60 FPS that is a separate and the next one that you have is 4K and this 4K at 60 FPS. You can, if you're using it without the super stable mode on, you'll be able to use any resolutions that you want. But if you want to use the super stable mode on, it will by default select 1080p and it will restrict you from going into any other resolution. So that is how it is designed. And again, I've taken a super stable mode video as well whilst I was climbing the steps. So you would be able to see that. Now the next thing is the ratio in which you want to show the items that are coming into the camera. So this will make it full screen and this flash here. And the next thing is the super macro mode. So super macro mode, again, I've taken a lot of shots. Uh, and I put them in this video for you to see without doing any edits to it that way you get to see how was it exactly captured and how was it just out of the camera then is the feature that we all love to use yes the portrait so what is different in portrait this time is because it has uh, three different lenses oneplus managed to give us something different which is generally in portrait you would be able to place the subject between 0 to 3.2 meters but because there's a wide angle option and the telephoto option you also have now a little bit of distance away from the object which is up till 
5.2 meters away. Uh, so how is it going to benefit you? You no longer have to be very close to the subject. You can still stand a little far away and take a picture that is going to be in a bokeh mode. And next thing, as we already talked, we've got the Nightscape. So Nightscape, Nightscape again comes with two different options. Uh, so this is the normal mode and this is the wide angle. This is the audio coming from uh, the built-in microphone that you have. It's in normal mode. Just gonna quickly zoom in. And this is the wide angle. So if you see him, I'm running a little bit in the normal mode. I'm walking now. Show you guys the stabilization. Audio check. Using these lenses, OnePlus has managed to get us a lot of features and one of them and the best is the super macro mode. 70 doesn't struggle when you're too close to the subject, it does focus. So let's talk about security here. You get the in-display fingerprint sensor and you also get the face unlock over here on OnePlus 7T as well. And if you ask me the question, is it better than the Samsung's Iris scanner or is it better than the iPhone? The answer is still debatable. But if you ask me, is it the fastest? Yes. Talking about charging and battery, this phone has the fastest charging ever. So OnePlus has introduced a technology called Warp Charge 30T. This can charge your phone from 0 to 50 in approximately 20 minutes. Mind-blowing it is. I've seen it. Trust me. And it comes with a non-removal 3800 mAh battery and that can take you through an entire day. Let us wrap this video up with what we think about OnePlus 7T. OnePlus 7T is still a flagship killer. This is one of the best phones that's available at this price point in the market that has a better camera, that has a better specs, and that can handle anything that you ask it to do. However, we felt there could be a couple of things that could have been better. And it is only from our personal perspective. So the first thing is the phone lacks the wireless charging. So this is one of the things that's available on all the latest smartphones that's available around this price range. That could have been there. Though it is not the fastest, we felt the technology is the latest and we would like to have it. So the second thing is you don't have 3.5 mm jack which is becoming a common fact with all the phones that are coming out these days so the third thing considering there are no 3.5 mm jack and not a lot of providers are manufacturing headsets with 3.5 mm jack oneplus could have given us a free c-type headset now because of which we have to either buy the oneplus c-type headset or you can go ahead and buy any wireless headsets that are available having said that we like the 70 and we will definitely recommend 70 to the users. Yeah, thanks a lot for watching this video and I'll see you soon in a different video. As usual, go right down there, click on the subscribe button and take away your free subscription to our channel and why not a bell icon hit. Thank you so much. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.